ladies and gentlemen, the deciding game of the World Series. The Yankees with Murderer's Row coming up, one run behind. The Cardinals' hopes riding on the pitching arm and the fighting heart of one man, Alex the Great. Here's the wind-up. And here comes the first pitch. Yes, the pitch. The pitch for the warmest, most wonderful, most human story ever told. The true story of Grover Cleveland Alexander and the woman who shared all the adventures of his fabulous career. Hey, what I tell you, he's a has-been. Legit? Legit, just... Not the, on the juice? No, no. No, no. No, I don't think so. He's chasing those sliders outside right now. And yeah, he's, he's in a little bit of the slump. Him, yeah, well, I think a the little whole discipline. team is a little bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sanchez is playing well. Yeah, but his defense is uh, not good. Castro and Holiday out hurts. Yeah, but they're going on a rehab assignment this week. Yeah. So they should be back next week. Yeah. So, which is a good thing. Yeah, they they yeah. could go down uh, September and do well. You know, I tell you, uh, with with Jeter being a, one of the owners of the Marlins, I think he's going to help the Yankees in a big, massive trade. Why would he do I, that? I think I think uh, uh, their, their their best uh, uh, hitter there, what's uh, Stanton? Stanton. Yeah. I think, I think he's coming to uh, New York. Do I you think, really? I think Jeter's going to. Give him to New York. Why would he give with him about to three him? or four players? You're going to see that deal within the, within the next month. Why would he give him to him? You mean Jeter knows the organization well enough that he knows good prospects he can get for them, <clears> or is he just from the because he's a Yankee and bleeding Yankee, well, uh, purple, know, whatever the hell you're Well, you know, is. he it doesn't matter. You know where Jeter is. You know, it, well, obviously. Oh you yeah, know, he owns, he owns another team. You know, and he's right do here, anything for the Yankees. You know, his his hat is still a Yankee. Oh, oh it is. I, oh, I'm walking well, out of the. No, uh, the I'm telling you. His, his hat is always still a Yankee. I don't care what anybody tells me. It is, and he, you know. Oh, geez, he not you too. Thank you. You're out. Damn, Lord. Put some more orange on your face. Jeez, I thought you were uh, you still against Trump. I never liked Trump. Why not? Because he was a bu he wanted to buy the Buffalo Bills. Oh, did he at one time? Oh yeah, he wouldn't have run for president if they'd been able to buy the Buffalo Bills. But he's been ba he was banned by the NFL after he sued them when he used to have the New Jersey Generals, the USFL team. Oh, he should be banned for uh, everything he does. So what do you think about uh, Alex Cora being fired? Yeah, you know, that was a good thing, and uh, that's... Uh, Why is it a good thing, Joe? Well, you know, he was involved with uh, with Houston, and he was the mastermind of... Uh, Let's of, start again. Of the whole thing. I have to get you in, friend. Oh. Joe, what do you think about uh, the firing of the Boston Red Sox manager, well, you know, Alex Cora? I like the way they acted fast. There was no um, bull around, and they got rid of him. But here's the problem: they're talking about Jason Veritek, and as the new manager, correct, as one of the new managers. But I'm a big Yankee guy, and and what are they thinking of having Jason Veritek as their manager? I, I really don't know, John. But I'm going to tell you. What does that have to do with being I, a big I, Yankee I, guy? I mean, I'm going to. There's other managers out there. Buck Showalter, he'll fit perfect. Buck Showalter's never won. It, it doesn't make any difference. It he, doesn't make any difference. He, he brings a team up, but he can never win. You had to get But uh, the reason why he didn't Joe win. Joe Torre. The reason why he never won, because he never had the players. He had the 
same play as Joe Torre had uh, in 1994. No, Joe Torre, what? The, no, 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 no. He had the same play as no, Torre no, had in 1996. Yeah, but, how, but how do you compare Torre? You're dealing with apples and oranges here, Joe. Torre was one. Torre was the best World of the best series. of the Yankees. Him and Billy Mann, the greatest of all. Oh, you greatest mean Casey Stengel, who won seven, and Joe McCarthy that won seven are just bums. Well, I'm going to predict this year that the Yankees are going to win 110 games this year. Do you believe, what Mr. Baseball said, that Billy Martin is the best ranking manager ever? Uh, I I do agree with that. He only won one, it, and he got fired in the middle of it, 78. It, it, Billy Martin, number one, the players loved him. It doesn't matter if he won he the World Series or he didn't win how many World Series or he was how a many cheat. or a rings he a rings he that was he a had cheat. on. I don't, I don't, but you know what? They all cheat. If you get caught. You pay the price. Every team doesn't matter. NFL, football, baseball. Do you think basketball. the Patriots were cheats? They've been known to be cheaters. Look at Bill Belichick, cheaters. I mean, it's a known fact. You were a Giants fan. Him, him and Kraft. I am not a Giant. I'm a J E T S guy. Jets, Jets, Jets. Yeah. That's my team. Super Bowl 2020. Put that into the bank. It's 2020. 2020 this year. They're going to win the 2020 21. They're going to win the Super Bowl. What was their record this year? Hey, they came on the last. What was their record this year? Okay. They had four. a horror. Did they, they had, win four games? They had a horrible. Did they win four games? They won seven games. They did? S six or seven. But <laughs> if they, they would have beat the Baltimore and, and Cincinnati. And, if. and a couple other teams, they would have made the playoffs. So, so in other words, they had to win 11 games, and they only won seven. No, that's all you had to do was win eight or nine games, and you basically you made said the playoffs. That they, you just mentioned four teams. Four well, teams. Two no. teams plus two no. other teams. If they would have been Cincinnati, which was 1-11, and, and somebody else. if They, they wouldn't couldn't have, beat a team that was 1-11? No, they didn't. And that was the only team that Cincinnati won was against the Jets. So how do you figure? So they were zero before they played the Jets. Well, you know what? It doesn't. Okay, here's my theory. You don't know who's going to show up every Sunday to play. So they were zero and eleven, and they played the Jets, and they became one and eleven. That is correct. How many games did they win? The did they surpass the Tampa Bay record? <laughs> if Cincinnati or Tampa Bay won, won won two or three games a year, you know what? That's super. That's Super Bowl for them. That that's the way I look at. You mean? But, you win seven games and you're a Jets fan, and that's the Super Bowl? Well, it's not a guarantee. Makes you forget Joe Willie Namath? Well, first of all, it's not a guarantee you're even going to be in the, in, in the playoffs with seven wins. you got to have at least eight or nine to at least, you know, be in the wild card or be considered to be into the... But uh, that's not the Super Bowl. Well, no, no. Well, you know, you can be in the playoffs and you can win the Super Bowl. You can have... I mean, I'll give you a good example. Look at New Orleans, right? Gone. Bottom, uh, uh, Baltimore Ravens. Buckham? Gone. The Buckham? <laughs> Buckham, frickum. Well, is it Mr. You know, whatever. Mr. Ha was it Mr. Haney who was played by ba Pat Butcham on Green Acres? Is that who you're talking about? Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. I thought you hated Green Acres. Uh, I do hate Green Acres, yeah. Man, and you, you hated Green uh, 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 Ang uh, Angus, you know. On, Acres, uh, not uh, Angus. You know, on, you know, who in the hell will, will hold up a pitchfork? That is, that is so Donald Trump Hold sang the Green break. Acres theme on the Emmys. Uh, uh, what the, what does Trump ago. know? You know, Trump knows bull crap. He's the, he's the President of the United States, I don't, I don't care if he's you the President. You were only a state rep. I don't care if he's the President of the United States. I don't care if he's the President of Israel. I don't care if he's the President of Russia. You know, Bill Trump. Uh, Bill Trump? Uh, 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 Marty Trump, or uh, what the hell his name is. Uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Donald Duck Trump, which I call him, you know, world's worst president ever to be down in history. You're not going to vote for the president for re-election? Uh, uh, Bernie Sanders is my man. Why? Yeah. Because he's Jewish? No, he's not Jewish. 
you know, he uh, well, he is Jewish. He has great ideas about. But he is Jewish. He, he is Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. But Mike Bloomberg's a Jew too. Uh, he is, but so is Stein, and uh, I think Stein is Jewish too. Yeah. But why do the Jews have so much money? Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, how come you don't have any money? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Why do? Why, why doesn't the moose have money? Don't that's, you? That's the great question, John. Don't you get a dividend check from the worldwide Jewish conspiracy? Or yeah. they, they have the wrong address, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. went to direct deposit and you yeah. forgot. I do have to say, uh, with all the Jews out there, I, 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 I am one of the poorest. Jew well, Mike Gold, the oh, famous yeah. communist, wrote a novel but, in 1930, Jews Without Money. But, he must have been thinking about you, Joe. Yeah. Weren't we talking about the Jets? Oh, the Jets. No, I want to go back to the Red Sox here yeah, now. With, well, we were talking about the Jets. You yeah. said the Jets won the moral equivalent of the Super Bowl by winning seven games. Well, uh, yeah, I, I think it was six or seven games. But you know, six you can, or seven. What kind of thing? Six does or it seven. Solve? I'm not going to cut it. You know, the second half of the Jets. Okay, I think they won what maybe what four between four and five games so to me that's an upbeat for this upcoming season 2021 so i think they really really have a legitimate shot of winning the super bowl uh, next year i really well, do they're gonna get draft picks well, now I mean, well you know you, you, you got a quarterback that's young you know he's, he's still in the process but i'm gonna tell you their coach sucks that geese a geese when the hell his name is awful bring back Rex uh, Rex Ryan, who, who okay. won like that guy uh, got three balls. games. Yeah, that, that guy got balls. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, bring his brother there that got fired there with the long hair. There, let him be the the, the uh, defense coach. Uh, let Rex be the offense. You know, what I mean, let's start from scratch. I mean, come on. Would you bring Colin Kaepernick on your team? Um, Do you need a backup quarterback? Uh, you know that that's a good question. I, I I would know. I stick with the kid. Kid's only what 22, 23, Is it this Donaldson kid? But I'll give him another shot. And then after the season or next season, if they don't make the Jets, and then you know what? I'm gonna tell you. I wish if, if I was a, a a billionaire over, I wanted to own a sports team in my life. That was one of my goals. Okay? I wanted to own the Red Sox. And I think I would be really good at it. Why? And, yeah, why? Because, you know, I'd be, I'd be like the old man, George Steinbrenner, okay? Well, we talk, we're talking about football, not baseball. Okay, football. Different type okay? of sports. I would love to You be, are good at handicapping football. But, you know uh, thank you. But I'd love to be the owner of a football team. Cause I the think, Jets? Uh, it doesn't matter what team it is, okay? Because I, because I got so many great ideas. You wouldn't mind being in Tennessee with the, the Titans. Um, you know, I, I'd rather stick either with the Jets. Cause, what about you know, the Atlanta? Jets, Jets or Giants? I don't care about the any Hawks. of them. I don't care about. Well, Atlanta Hawks is 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 uh, basketball. Football. Basketball. But What's their oh the Falcons? The Falcons. Right. I don't care about the Falcons. I don't care about the Dolphins. Wouldn't you like to own a family in Philadelphia? Uh, what about a hockey team? A uh, hockey team, I would have. A any sports team. You know what? If I had the money, give it to me. And I'll would take it. you consider, if you uh, win uh, a tremendous lottery, bringing a first rate, you know, triple A hockey team back to Manchester, New Hampshire? No. Why not? No, because we had because, because we had the Monarchs and they failed. The Monarchs. Monarchs. They failed. What? How did you? What did you call them? Monarchs. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they feel. So why bring in a triple A or double A? Well, they move. You know what I mean? But you know what? They were only drawing like what? What less than two thousand a game. So how the hell? I think you, the monarchs were like. So how the hell are you gonna make money off of them? Okay. Maybe the a little bit off the concession stand, but otherwise big a big big. I'm gonna tell you about. So you okay. won't if you okay, had money. Me, okay. You wouldn't own a minor league team. No, I would not. Why not? No, because if you're gonna if you're gonna own a team, you you want to start you know from the top and work down if you have to. But, well, but what do you mean work down? Why, why waste your money on a minor league team? It's cheaper. Where, where, I, it could be cheaper. You got less publicity. How much did the it, Florida Marlins cost? The number two. A billion dollars? Well, Nine hundred million? Well, the team was is, is, is. I mean, let me ask you this. I mean, if you had, if if you were a, a billionaire, what team would you like to own? 
Well, if you were just a billionaire, you couldn't afford the Red Sox because the Red Sox were like two and a half to three billion. The Yankees were three and a half to four billion. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that bothers me, okay? If you were Mike Bloomberg, you could buy both the friggin' teams. Well, I don't give a crap about Mike Bloomberg, Why? He's okay? a, he was a good mayor uh, of well, New York. You know, I don't know about too much about him. That isn't Giuliani. I only want to hear about Bloomberg, you know, on the news. But I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Um, about what? Well, okay. We were talking about you. Joel Elber will not own a minor league team. I, I would not, no. First you, of all. You wouldn't use it as an entree, and then, you know, maybe no, you'd be a no, good owner, no, and they let you buy a, no, a major league team? No, no. If I, if I want to own a team, okay, yeah. I want to draw 50000 or better, okay, into the stadium. Okay? Why? Because that's what that's well, you, what it's all about. If you were draw, it's all about the fans. If you were drawing 11,000 fans every game, uh, to uh, the Manchester, like uh, uh, the Fisher Cats, you wouldn't be satisfied? Yeah. Eastern League champ, one of the, the, the prettiest park in the Eastern League? No, that's another joke. You know, no, uh, no, first no, of all, the, uh, the, uh, first of all I have to give Fisher credit Cats. to the city of Manchester because they they used to own the Monarchs. Okay. They didn't own the Monarchs. Uh, well, well, they, well, they played in Manchester. But they didn't own them. Well, they didn't own Okay. Uh, they were a... A farm team of the L.A. Kings. Okay, correct. On the wall. Okay, you, you got a beautiful stadium. Is the Fisher Cats okay? Double oh, A, beautiful. Double A, which is which Toronto. is Toronto. It's Toronto. Okay, exactly. If we had a Red Sox uh, Double A team, it'd sell out all the games. You know, you get the Sanu Theater, which which which. The Sanu Theater. What's the Sanu well, Theater? Well, that, the, Did it, they name a theater after John Sununu? No, it's it's I mean, it's, it's, it's the Sanu where you mean where, Snow. where Snow. Southern. New this, Hampshire University. Where they supposedly have concerts. But you mean the Verizon, the old Verizon Center? The old Verizon. Hockey, but I'm going to tell you hockey. something, okay? It, Your whoever, kiss is coming. Whoever, I don't give a f about kiss. Who cares about kissing that guy's long tongue? Paul okay? Cormier okay, does. Uh, are, well, you anti, are you anti Semitic? Hey, you know, not anti. Hey, if Paul likes Gene kiss. Gene Simmons is, a, is an Israeli. If Paul likes kiss, I give Paul my So does you know, Matt Connor too. You know, I give Paul my blessing. Hey, that's his thing. I, I have no, you know, I you love. You never like Kiss? I, uh, no, I did not. No, no. You didn't like the song Beth? I, I didn't like Kiss. I didn't like Gene Simmons. You I, didn't like Christine, 16? No, I, I didn't like Christine, you know, whatever in the hell it is. You know, you know, I didn't like the makeup 16. that Kiss used. I mean, it, 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 was, it, was, it was just a bunch of PR crap. Glam rock. That's all. But I mean, I mean, they sold 25 million albums. I mean, I mean, now it's in the past. Now it's the future. Everything is different now. What was your favorite rock and roll group? Growing up, well, I my favorite. Well, I, you know, it. Okay, the Let's Beatles. It. Okay, the Beatles. Well, everybody loves okay. the Beatles. Okay. We don't even count. Okay, them. my second choice is is the Rolling Stones. Well, nobody counts them either. Everybody's okay. second band uh, is the Rolling uh, Stones. Uh, 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 the Doors, the Who. Led Wars. Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Another great. So, uh, you, would yeah. you consider Led Zeppelin the greatest uh, 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 heavy metal band? Uh, probably, yeah. You think that the Kiss doesn't come up to Led Zeppelin? Oh, standard? Kiss can't even wipe their ass. Oh, yes. Those oh, are no. fighting words with Matt Carnegie. No, Carnigan no and Kiss. I don't know. Paul Cormier. Well, you know what? Hey, you know, hey, if, if that floats Matt uh, uh boat, boat, you know, hey, you know what? You, you know, hey, good for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> We'll uh, look but, that bad in. So you were talking about Bill Belichick. Do you think he's a cheater? Uh, oh, absolutely. You know, you know. I tell you what's a, you know. You think he's a who? Bill Belichick? Well, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. Without Bill Parcells, you know, Bill Parcell. If it wasn't for him, Bill Bill, Bill Belichick would be a nobody. Would you nobody. say that without Joel uh, Elber, there'd have been no Peter White? I have no comment. <laughs> Why do you hate Bill Belichick? Well, I, I just think he's... The know, Giants fans. Well, are, you know what? The it, Giants are the natural... They're like what the Yankees are to the Red Sox, or the Mets are to the Yankees. You know, you know what the problem. The, the Giants are a great and successful franchise, and the J Jets suck. The problem with Bill Belichick, Since coach you right? Back. He only tells name? you. He only tells you half of the story. Who is the coach with Joe Willie? Name it. Eubank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weeb. Yeah, Weeb, Eubank. Weeb. Yeah, yeah, How many yeah, people yeah. had a name Weeb? Yeah. yeah, wasn't it guy with... And who was the owner? He was well known when we were yes. kids. That's right. Yeah. Now, wasn't Weeb Eubanks, wasn't he the host on, 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 on the dating game? 
You'd have to ask Peter that. Yeah, oh, is that Webb Eubanks? Paul Corbett. Yeah, his brother in law. Yeah, I think it was his brother in law. Webb Eubanks is the same as uh, uh, the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the first contestant from Jeopardy? Who was the first host of Jeopardy? Now, I'll give you $5 if you can remember. The first host. Was it, um, was it Gene Hackman? Of Jeopardy! Gene Hackman was an <laughs> Oscar winning actor! <laughs> Is Chuck Woolard. Oh, Chuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you miss playing the match game on the morning show? Uh, yeah, that was a fun time. Yeah, I did. Every Friday we played that. Yeah. That was well, let's get back to Bill Belichick. Yeah. Do you, what do you think is going to happen to Bill Belichick and uh, Tom Brady? I don't know. I think. Uh, I Would think, you accept Tom Brady coming to the Jets? Uh, open arms. But, oh, I thought you thought he was a bum. You no, know, but you know what? I think. But, you know, um, I'm not too sure. Two things are going to happen. Either A, he's going to play on the West Coast, or B, he's going Why? To, uh, because that's what his goal was. He loves the he's West Coast. He's from San Mateo, California. He loves the warm weather. And, uh, and Who does that? Uh, well, that's true. But um, Well, uh, what team is going to sign him on the West Coast? San Diego, I think. There is no San Diego. It's L.A. Chargers. Oh, uh, well, someone is looking for a quarterback. On you the are Coast. you are just old-fashioned, Joe. But uh, L.A. Yeah. didn't have any teams for twenty a gener more than a generation. Now they got two. But but if you think about this, uh, uh, what the, I don't. But but what the, uh, what the hell is his name? The the offense coordinator for the Patriots. Uh, uh, what the hell is his name? Well, we'll put that in. Yeah. We, so. Uh, he, so there was one last job, I think it was last Friday, it was the Cleveland Browns. He didn't get the job. So that tells me that he's coming back with the Patriots, and that tells me that Brady will be back for one more season. Because the way the season ended for the Patriots, on a last note, this is the way Brady doesn't want to go out. He wants to go out as a winner, and he wants to get number seven on his on his uh, finger as, as a ring. So whatever it takes who the Jets hire to win the Super Bowl, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be okay with. It. What are the odds of the Jets winning the Super Bowl in 2021? 20, I think well, you they, said they're going to uh, win I, in I think they have a very good chance, I think. Okay, uh, and, and what odds would you give me if I put a $100 bill? In the uh, you know, if, 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 if I went with Vegas odds, I would say maybe... 100 to 1? 500 to 1? I'd uh, I go but maybe like uh, like uh, 200 to 1 maybe or 100. But imagine if you... So a 100 bucks, you'd have to pay me $20,000. I mean, if, if, if your odds are like, like, like 200 to 1 or 100 or whatever, and you throw a hundred dollars on, do the math. You can make thousands out there, people. Do you have the money? Take, do you have the money to pay this bet? No, I say that's all I have to do is get up a hundred dollars on, on a two hundred on one shot. I mean, hey, I mean, just I mean, well, how much you make? Two hundred or three hundred? I'm betting you the hundred dollars. Hey. What odds are you gonna give me? Well, well, I'll give you. I will bet a hundred if you'll give me, let's say, five to one odds. That the uh, Jets don't win the uh, twenty. Oh no 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 no! no, no. I got to. You said they're gonna win. Well, they are gonna go. Well, they are gonna win. Uh, if you want five to one on hundred dollar bet, so if you win, I owe you five hundred, and I'll back that bet. You really will. I'll back that bet. Yeah. I, I, that's silly, yeah. Joe. Yeah. No, it's not silly. Joe's yeah. been betting me the yeah, and, you know, and by the way, folks, my middle name is Cash. <laughs> Your middle name Cash. is uh, Cash. <laughs> Yeah, cash, ball, uh, cash pots. <laughs> pots. That's, you got pots. that right. Yeah. What do you mean I got that right? Explain yourself. Why do you think uh, Tom Brady and the uh, Patriots folded? Well, I don't think they folded. Well, number well, one. you don't? I mean, number uh, Okay. The bottom line. I mean, it, it, you think Tom Brady's a no, I didn't know. I never said that. You said his wife you know, uh, is a. Didn't you say something about his wife once? No, I Giselle mean, Bundchen. Well, she makes more money than him, so that and that it. must but eat his ego. You know, they're gonna give him. I, I think Kraft wants him back, which he stated he, he wants him he's back. He's like a son to him. And I think he's gonna offer him for one more season twenty five million dollars. And yeah, I, uh, I no, I'd say yeah. no more than like twelve and a half. No. And a fifty coupon, bo a book of fifty massages. Oh, really? A deep tissue. <laughs> a deep tissue. Okay, is that cool? Happy endings? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> I remember when uh, Balco. I used to live near Balco, which was the Bal the big yeah. doping yeah. scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Called Olympic athletes, and of course Barry Bonds and others. 
and it was right near the string of all uh, massage parlors and they found got Jerry Rice you know the great uh, back yeah, of the, yeah, uh, the 40, 49ers, 49ers. And they just let him go because it's Jerry Rice right, right? right he'd been five five championship right. teams he said he was just there for a deep tissue massage huh? yeah he's there right next to Balco so you get shot up and then go get a <laughs> You know? You'd have to get it right after the shot because once that shot started working, you weren't going to get for another nine months. Well, I, mean, well, well, I don't know if he has a problem, Jerry, but. Do you uh, think the, the Tom Brady can I think he has a little bit left in the tank. Can he for uh, Super Bowl 50? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's, well, that's the question out there. You know, you know it's. I don't know, it all depends on his gut, I mean, his <laughs> gut. <laughs> hey, there's no editing here, okay? There's no, hey, we yes, talk to is. the most, we don't edit here, okay? Yes, we do. It, it is what it is. Why are you against the Red Sox? Oh, boy, you know. The, it, it, the, the Yankees, you know, well, Alex uh, A. Rod uh, had his own uh, steroids deal yeah, with the travel. But that doesn't even come close. Oh, doesn't come close. You know, you know, you know with the scandal when when Cora was with, with Houston, and then he got hit as the manager, and, oh, and then he got the GM. Okay. And Billy Martin managed the 1974 Texas Rangers that had somebody out in center field with binoculars and sending back signals of all and stealing. The signs. That Isn't that how Billy Martin had his success as a coach? By cheating. He cheated with the A's. Cut balls. He used to, he had them put the soap and KY jelly in their uniforms. Well, how about all these pitches that I always, you always used to hide? Uh, 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 the uh, Necker ball there, Nolan. He cheated. Nolan was yeah, a, Nolan was a fastballer. You think about Gaylord you, Barry. You know, how about the other guys? You know that they had like tassimer on their neck or inside their glove, so they can have, you know, so they can, you know, grip Billy the ball Martin better. Billy Martin was success. Yeah. He was a cheat. That that was only a Roman. There was no proof by the M. By B. By the everybody M knows that Joe. Yeah, no, he ruined all those young ace pitches like McGregor and. The the M the MLB commission at the time was Bowie Kuhn. Oh, that that's true. And and was Bowie Kuhn Jewish? No, uh, he's a wasp. And and there was German. There was no fine that uh, that that the Yankees were cheating. You know. At, we're talking about the Texas Rangers. Well, Texas. Well, you talked about Billy Martin. Billy Martin was. He wasn't a. No, he, he was wasn't. fired. Five times. That was he only, won one World it, Series. It was only PR between him and George. The Cincinnati. It was funny. People loved it. The People loved it. No, the Cincinnati Reds <laughs> just steamrolled the 76 Yankees of Billy Martin, didn't no, they? No, no. They swept them. Billy for nothing. Billy Martin was great for baseball. He, he won was, one World Series. Was, I don't care if he won one or none. How many Joe okay. Torre won? Uh, that's a good. Was it three? Four. Four? Okay. But how many did Joe McCarthy win? I'm, gi I'm giving it to Joel. Oh, seven. And how many did, uh, did uh, Casey Stengel win? Uh, he won ten. No, Pennants. Uh, how many uh, World Series did he win? But, I, I gave Joel the, the two fives. But okay, not, here we go. How many World Series? Seven. But, Can you name them? Uh, no. But I'll tell you something. Mr. Baseball. When, when I was on your show, I was going to bring Which Mr. Show? Baseball. With, with Mr. Baseball show on what Can you pass the scotch? On what their team. And and uh, and you were there. I don't know if you uh, remember this. Oh. That I asked Mr. Baseball. Joel, can, uh, okay, and then we're gonna have a uh, break because we we're running out of ice. That, okay. that 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 the that the that the greatest manager of all time of the New York Yankees was Billy Martin. I That's agree. Mr. Mr. Baseball. Mr. Baseball agreed with me. If Mr. Baseball agrees with me, that is good enough for me. All right, let's get some ice, and then we're gonna start again. Uh, yeah, all right, gonna, we need ice. You are my wife. Goodbye, City Line. We never see There's that, that over there, that's Joey Nichols. He was my father's friend. He was always bothering me when I was a kid. Joey Nichols. See? Nichols. See? Nichols. <laughs> you see? Nichols. 
You can always remember my name. Just think of Joey Five Cents. Hi, I'm Robin Simon, and welcome to Luncheon at Le Bijou, New York's most exciting restaurant, where every day is a potpourri of the city's most rich and, and famous residents. Look who's here, Donald Trump. What are you working on, Donald? Well, I'm working on buying St. Patrick's Cathedral, maybe doing a little rip-down job and putting up a very, very tall and beautiful building. Well, that's just wonderful. That's me, Joey Five Cents. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Come but, on, Joel. You have to admit now, after last year, that Brady's the greatest quarterback ever. Why a tittle? And you don't even bring up Johnny Unitas. Yeah, he's the greatest quarterback. Yeah, you got Johnny ever. Unitas, Way A. Tittle. You got Joe Montana and uh, uh, well, the bald guy that was married to the uh, skater from Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh, um, um, yeah. Terry uh, Bradshaw. Yeah, Bradshaw. Joe Montana was a great quarterback. Uh, Dan Marino. I saw Joe Montana in his prime, and I saw him in his decline, but. Tom Brady's the greatest, and I don't go with that greatest crap for people. Well, he is the greatest quarterback in history. Well, put it this way. He's one of the greatest, not the greatest. He is the greatest. One of the greatest. Not he won the six no, Super Bowls. No, yeah, six, Nobody seven, else has won more than four. But back then, Montana football was Bradshaw different. Montana Bradshaw won four. Football was different back then. It wasn't so different with yeah, Joe Montana. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So what was different? Let's huh? just start with, I know Joe Montana, and I saw Steve Young. He won the fifth Super Steve Bowl. Steve Young is another good one. Steve Young yeah, was but not, not as, Joe yeah, Montana. Yeah, he was fair. He was the backup. Yeah. Well, he was a great quarterback. But he, yeah. he had head problems because he went to... He went to that USFL team, then they put him in Tampa, and he couldn't, he went, didn't, couldn't play. His Tampa was in four. Were they 14, playing 14 games then? I remember the once when they were 1-13. No, that's when they first came in the league. They used to give out Tampa glasses at some cats at least. They, they all, it was like they could never win. Who was that manager, that, the, the coach of, he had the uh, uh, southern name, like Baba or something. He could, could only win one game with him. Baba? Back in the 70s, when the first Tampa Bay. Really? He had a, a weird, you know, one of those southern type of names. <laughs> oh, that. Uh... Bought Tampa Bay. Steve Young went from the biggest contract in professional football, the USFL, which folded after a year. Which, remember, Donald Trump had the generals, and he was the generals, and he had Herschel Walker. That's fair, yeah. Jesus, Walker. He, yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, too bad he wasn't a multiple person. <laughs> But uh, then uh, Donald Trump sued the NFL, lost, and essentially banned from football. And he tried to bu buy the Buffalo Bills like six years ago, and they'd have nothing to do with him because he's a prick. But Steve Young couldn't get over. Well, he got he was the number one draft pick, if you remember. And Tampa picks him up. And then he plays in the USFL, and Tampa still is the freaking worst, worst team. And you remember, it put a zap on his head. So they brought him in. Oh, God, who was the great coach for the first three Super Bowls? Bill Walsh. Bill, I was going to say From the Cardinals, okay. Stanford. Okay. Bill Walsh. Did Bill Walsh win four or three? Four, I think. Four. Then they brought in the new coach, and he won the fifth one with uh, uh, Steve Young. They brought Steve Young as Montana's backup. What a team that was. Oh, yeah. Don't, you know, like I said, Jim uh, Jerry Rice gets picked up in a massage parlor. You know, they just, he oh, look at back from Miami. You, you got Marino. You got Zonka. You got Kick. Two greatest. Marino, you're Two. talking. Bob Greasy was with Zonka. Bob Greasy was a great quarterback. Yeah, no, Marino was with, with those guys. No. That was Bob Greasy back in the early 70s. They went 14 nothing. the only undefeated team. Undefeated, yeah. But that yeah. year, wasn't Greasy, he was injured that year and he only played a certain amount of games. Yeah, that I don't remember. Zonka, remember, they probably would have had shot out in the Super Bowl, but Zonka blew that play. Yeah, yeah. When he took the ball. Yeah, he probably, gamblers had probably touched him. I was watching that game at uh, when I was living in Chelsea. I was in the 8th yeah, grade. At the bar. That's the first uh, yeah. bet I ever uh, put out, like at, 50 cents on a uh, team. I was at 5th Street, it was called the Old Timers. I love Bob Greasy, he yeah, was a Bob great Green, quarterback. Yeah, yeah, he's a guy that... that, that his that, son wasn't never quite as good. They never, well, same thing with Sims, you know, yeah. his, yeah, his son sucked. Wasn't they sucked, they just 
Yeah, 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 the, the father, 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 exactly, right. exactly. Yeah, Bob fought. won two yeah. Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, but I uh, know it's going to be interesting. Uh, right now, it's what three weeks before spring training, and the who do you think's going to win the Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Handicap um, the championship games in the Super Bowl, uh, or forever hold your peace. I'm I'm gonna go with um, uh, Green Bay. Oh, what was that? Yeah, I don't know what the hell is that. I want Green Bay. Oh, yeah. uh, well, 49ers. Yeah. I'm a big 49ers no, see, fan. See, I'm not a 49ers fan. Uh, Green but Bay. I think Green Bay might win. But yeah. I'd like to uh, sentimentally with the 49ers because I was in California in those years. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Kansas City can win uh, on the road. Really? They were yeah. a favorite like a yeah. couple weeks ago. With the I, I, I think Tennessee is playing out of their a hole. Yeah, uh, and, a uh, I think Kansas City and the Titans this week. God, when I was a kid, and so many Green people like Bay. Kansas City. Who's Green Bay? Uh, who's the other uh, four team that's out there? Um, oh damn, it's Kansas City. Uh, the t Titans. Is that the Titans and Green Bay. Who's Green Bay playing? Well, that's the NFC, so they're playing the 49ers. Okay, so Green Bay, 49ers, the 49ers. Green Bay, the Titans against. Oh, Kansas City. Okay, and this this week will decide who's going to be in the Super Bowl. I think the in NFC two weeks. is going to yeah, win yeah. this year. Yeah, because uh, the, the quarterback from Green Bay, uh, it's his, um, uh, what the hell is his name? Um, his, yeah, I can't remember yeah, anything. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we know who he is. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> we know, but I, I'm voting for him. Uh, Rogers, well, root, Rogers. Yeah, but I'm going to root for the 49ers for oh, all the time. For uh, so. Garoppolo? Yeah. Hopefully, well, for Colin Copernic, Co Copernic uh, say. Yeah, yeah. Well, Copernicus, he's now a famous astrologer. Yeah, do you think Copernic, you, you think he'll be Copernic. Uh, you well, think, he's through. Oh, you he's, don't he think? got his settlement, and they gave him that <laughs> uh, try out. Yeah, that was just bull, Yeah, that was He said, yeah, it was all. You know, they treated him like just think Michael Vick, you know, after that horrific dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they brought him back with fly. Yeah. You know, nobody. <laughs> but he just kneels dog for politics, and he he won a Super Bowl for Christ's sake. Yeah, he's been he's banned for life, basically. Yeah, just for just for being political. Yeah, that's for right. nothing. That's right. <laughs> and the dog, you know. Some of the stuff he says is foolish, but you know everybody's yeah, foolish. That's right. I remember Bill Walton used to be a big lefty. Remember when he was yeah. when he was out with Portland? Oh, the things he'd say. Yeah. Oh, everybody yeah, in Boston was... hated Bill Russell for being pro civil rights. Oh, Bill Russell, one of the greatest. Yeah, but nobody liked him in Boston. When we were kids, it was baseball, and then it was the Bruins, and football was number four. Wade. Yeah. It was Belichick and Brady that created yeah, you're football right. in here. Yeah, you're right. Because when I went to Texas and places, or I'd go down to see my father in Atlanta, football, football. Football. It's a religion. <laughs> and, and in California, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. When the 49ers were playing a game, you could walk in San Francisco and hear the game from every place. And everybody had it on. Sure, sure. And because they were... It's like the West, yeah. and they were totally into football. Yeah, they, they were. Oh, man, yeah. But it, you know what the big difference was, how football changed between Montana with, with Brady? After Super Bowl V, when Steve Young won, and he got a $4.5 million contract, the highest paid in football, he got two concussions. That's the first time I ever heard them talk about concussions. And they started improving the quarterback protection because he made too much money yeah. and when he went down yeah. that money's still against the cap oh yeah oh the 49ers disintegrated because of the cap yeah yeah that's a good point and uh yeah that changed where quarterbacks when we were kids it used to be brutalized joe willie named it everybody would bet on how long he'd last in the yeah. by 71 he was pr virtually crippled everybody thinks he lost his knee in the Pro pro NFL, but that he heard it in Alabama. Yeah, that's I think right. either his senior year, yeah, but he right. still won. Yeah, was it the Orange Bowl or he won a, one of the the big bowl? I think they yeah, were the I national champions. Either the Orange or the Rose, I think. And uh, the owner gave four hundred fifty thousand dollars, the biggest contract in sports ever, and he finally paid off in in the well. That was the first Super Bowl. It's called Super Bowl three. But we were when we were the first NFL AF. L title games weren't called Super Bowls. Yeah. Super Bowl three was Super Bowl one. Broadway. Yeah, and that made 
that put baseball as the number two sport because in the 60s with TV, NFL took over. Took over all the gambling too. It used to be horse racing. He was my idol, Joe Namath. I loved him. Everybody, Everybody. loved him. I mean, he owned he was what, a great, bachelors, what, one, two, and three in Boston? Bachelor, no, bachelors three in ba New York. Bachelor, he had to give yeah. it up. Yeah. Pete Rosell. Well, yeah, Pete, Pete Rosell. Well, there was big problems with gambling. Yeah. He uh, sacked Paul Horn. Paul Horning was suspended for a year, but that's when I was a little kid. And then, uh, oh, who was Alex Karras got a year? Because he uh, partied with gamblers. Well, let me ask you. And they said Karras never actually threw a game or did anything, but those are people he liked. <laughs> you no, know, I'm glad you brought that up about gamblers. Do you think Pete Rose should be now, you know, in the Hall of Fame after Not that he's years? never apologized. You know? He's never admitted. If he, I think that uh, Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds should be in the Hall of Fame because even before they juiced, they were Hall of Famers. Even with the Red Sox, when he won the 192 games, which is the, makes him the biggest winner ever, Roger Clemens won three Cy Young. Well, that's enough to put you in the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. He won, what, three ERAs. And, uh, you know, I'm always a little more that pitchers should be able to use stuff because to, to, because when they get injuries, whew. But, uh, but Barry Bonds, up until the year, he obviously was on steroids. Was it 99, 2000? Oh, yeah. I remember because I was a Giants fan. I was like, all of a sudden, they, Barry Bonds got a shaved head that's two, two or three times the size. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. The best player of my time, I was at the Ricky Henderson, where it was a head yeah, job. Of Oakland. Well, my father was always an NL fan. He was a Boston Braves fan, an Atlanta Braves fan. He, he didn't like the L. When they moved to Milwaukee, he didn't follow him. So they won in Milwaukee. It took till 1995. When he was 69 years old for them to win a World Series. But then, oh my God, they won 13 titles and they only won one World Series and it, it drove him crazy. He, a, he hated the Red Sox as a kid. Then he became a fan at the end. Yeah, right. but, and he saw the 2004. He died in 2007 before they won again. But he's never a Red Sox fan. But when Barry Bonds came to San Francisco, he said, you've got the best player in baseball. And you did. Yeah. And it's a shame that he freaking took steroids because that man was peerless, but he just, his ego, he couldn't take, McGuire was one of the, night. he was a prep yeah, Barry yeah. Bonds, nobody liked him. Mark McGuire was one of the nicest human beings you ever saw, huge too, my god, I remember seeing him. He gave 10% of his income to charity, he did all this great stuff, everybody loved him, but he was, he was shooting up, the, yeah. the sports writers saw him, yeah. and uh, yeah, but he came back in baseball as being a what, a hitting coach for some coach with Tony Lucas. Yeah, because everybody knew what they were doing. Yeah, but it became ridiculous. But Barry Bonds, up until like say 1990, was a Hall of Fame player. Remember, but it's a shame that he did it. It's just like A, a Rod. A Rod was one of the most superb players. Yeah. If he had stayed away from the roids, he'd, he'd still hit 500 oh, home runs. Oh, he had 3,000 oh, yeah. hits. Yeah. But yeah. It's ridiculous, but he was on since he was a kid, since he was 18 years old. Yeah. That was one of the best players. But the best player of the generation of where we got Bonds is, was number two and never won an MVP, which is a sin. Yeah. He should have won two MVPs, but they always want to give it to somebody who had home runs, you yeah. know, like yeah. Maurer, you know. Oh, he hit, he hit 340 home runs or he hit 360, where well, that was the best player. Yeah. That guy was the heart of that team. He the was. 1998 Yankees were the best team I've ever seen in my life. They came into Oakland for a four-game series, and three of the games were comeback victories in the ninth inning. I never saw anything like it. And Daryl Strawberry was on the bench. He won one of the games, either three or four, with a home run. As a matter of fact, Joe got... Torrey was a hell of a manager because people loved him. He was yeah. a hell of a player. He's too. still, he's still, he's still he a Yankee. All, he was, I, I, yeah. He's like a, a borderline Hall of Famer as a catcher with the Atlanta and before the St. Louis. As a matter of fact, great the, union guy too. As a matter of fact, I was just reading the other day that the I name, love that guy. That, that the uh, uh, Named the street after Jeter in New York. Well, I'm talking about Joe Torre. Yeah, but Joe Jeter, Torre, yeah. Jeter was, yeah. for, I, you know, yeah. he, other than, uh, you know, uh, Chris, what's the reliever's name? I was at his restaurant. I know his name. It's just not coming. The greatest reliever in history. Oh, Ma Marian Rivera. Oh, yeah, great guy. Yeah. You know, uh, you were at unanimous. His, the you were at his restaurant? Yeah, the first unanimous, and he's a nice guy. First unanimous. 
And I would say, I hope that uh, Jeter gets yeah, in. Yeah, I, I hope too uh, Jeter gets in. But he got cheated out of two. He, he, he should have won two uh, MVPs. He should, yeah, you're right. He got, he got, you're right. Hell of a second base. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And the great captain of that team. You see the play when he when, dived into the stands, his nose all face know. was all bloody. He was an old-fashioned And, fashioned, uh, and the play player. that home plate, that was a classic right there, a classic. And you know, when A-Rod came to New York, I was in New, I was in Connecticut, my father's in New York, every advertisement, you and A-Rod Okay. All yeah. they're all Jeter. Yeah. You know, A Rod didn't get anything. Yeah. That's when, uh, like uh, Johnny da Damon, he had ten million dollars from the Red Sox, but he made four to five million dollars from ads because everybody liked yeah, him. So right. he goes yeah. to New York, they gave him twelve million, yeah. but he didn't get a single ad. Yeah. So he actually lost money. Yeah. Johnny Damon, I think he stayed with the Red Sox. Oh, he had that. Great year. He was part of the 2009 team, and you saw how great he was. If he'd stayed with the Red Sox because it's a more forgiving park, he probably would have gotten the Hall of Fame. He got very close to the 3,000 hits. That's one of those players, uh, you know, not spectacular. What a hell of a player. Oh, no, no but you guys, look what you spent on Jet on Ellsbury, yeah. who was friggin' a China doll, which we all know. No. One good year. No, and the, the Yankees are trying to beat him out of his contract. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to pay him what, 25 Because he went to million? see a doctor that they didn't approve of. Yeah. That's yeah. But see, they have to pay the tax. They need to spend some money yeah. and they don't want to pay the tax. That's right. Yeah, you're right. I wonder what Ellsbury is doing now. I mean, I mean, okay, let's put it this way. Where's he been for the last two or three years? No one knows. No one hasn't seen him in pictures. Why are you or? so mean about Alex Corley? Huh? Why are you so bitchy about Alex Corley? Because he's a cheater. He a cheater's going to be punished. Oh, but Billy Martin was a, was a cheater. You know, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Gary Hopper, who I saw today, is a very nice guy. Yeah. But uh, he... Uh, is he's a, a funny guy, guy, Gary. Oh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, I mean... Except he, if you really get start, If you get down and argue with him about a certain political thing... I mean, thing, he, he, you know, down. when I was a state rep, you know, a couple of years ago, and Gary... A couple of years ago, you were a state rep up until the last year. And Gary is still a... I'll tell you, he used to get up there. He's... You would have won re-election. He, he, he cracked everybody but up you were in, in, the, in, in the gallery. Uh, Gary Gary Hopper, funny, funny, funny guy. You should have won funny. the re-election, moved, and made them have a special election. Yeah, but I, you know what? I didn't want that to happen. So you know, people but, don't know that's why you didn't run. Well, you know, I'm, you know, you didn't run because you were going to move. You know, as Bill Belichick was said, you know, the I moose, you that the moose moved on. I thought you didn't like Bill Belichick. <laughs> You know, uh, you See, know, if you'd been a Giants fan, you'd be a happy man. Yeah. You know, well, you know, maybe if I get to know him personally and, uh, you know, and talk to him, I mean, who knows, but uh, I just don't care. For, I, 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 never, I never did. What happened to all the money in the uh, 2016 football pool? 2016 football pool? Yeah. That you and Peter were running. Um, or was it 2015? I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay, we'll move on to another side. Uh, yeah, I, I have no knowledge of that. <laughs> you think the, Yan the Yankees are going to finish out of... Uh, well, I think... Out, uh, the Yankees, are, they're just not living up to their potential. Oh, I think the Yankees are going to win. They are Dan Boone and bring back Buckethead. No. Girardi. No, that was stupid to can. Well, well, Girardi now is with the Cubs, I think. Yeah, he's the manager of the Cubs, and they just got D.D. Gregorius uh, from the Yankees. Which mean uh, Joe Madden's a free, is uh, available? Oh yeah, he's gone. He, well, he ought to come to the Red well, Sox. Well, he's not a good choice, uh, man. Oh, the That's Red Sox right. are always. You know, but uh, I, I mean, I mean, why would you hire? You know, like I said, I hate to be redundant, but you know, very. I mean, Madden was a hell of a manager. I, I, I don't understand. I, I mean, I mean, I, I'm always. Well, Girardi is a, was a hell of a manager too. Oh, he was. He, he was, was excellent, and that was, was that was a big mistake because the kids that had come up, he had worked with a lot he, of them. He in did. The you're, you're absolutely right. You're the biggest thing is Miss Sanchez is a yeah. catcher is a yeah. disaster. Well, that's a left fielder, first baseman, yeah. Yeah. Hall of Famer, yeah. Yeah. but not if you keep him at catcher. A catcher yeah. has to catch. Yeah. Well, Johnny yeah. Bench was a great catcher and a hell of a oh, player. No question. But look oh, at yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thurman. Thurman was a gold glove catcher yeah. and good bat, and Fisk won a gold glove in 72, and he, hell of a call, he called games great. 
and he was great with a bat. You have to have a Hall of Fame. You have a Jim Sumberg uh, who went for like, what, five, six, seven gold gloves in Texas. The best defensive catcher I ever saw him, I liked that before Pudge Rodriguez. He only really hit 20, 220 or 230. If he hit 250, you were lucky. But look how he could handle his stuff. I can't understand putting Sanchez who can't catch. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, make any sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then they get rid of Girardi, who's a catcher who might have been able to nurse him, but he couldn't. That's a first baseman left field. It's like Adam Dunn. He couldn't play first base or left field. But you had to, it's actually, you had to put him somewhere. You don't put him at catcher. Well, maybe they should put Sanchez at Adam first Dunn base. 400 diggers. Well, put him at first base. Right. But they don't. You know what I mean? But they need his bat, though. But his bat is, you know, hot and cold. You it's, can't it's catch. It's more cold than hot. You can't hot. catch yeah, and, yeah, and have yeah. that on your mind when you yeah. suck. You know, Johnny Bench... Essentially, was through at 33. <laughs> they should have moved. They should have done what they did with Yogi. Yogi never caught one like 128 well, games, I was just and gonna, they put him in left field for 30 games. Well, I'm just gonna bring that up. Does 160? Was Bill Freeman was the first person from Detroit that did 160, and he had the small glove. And then Johnny Bench wanted to catch 160. Sparky Anderson let him do it. You don't do that. It just wore you out. The reason the Colton Fist managed to last till 42 is because he lost so many years to injuries that it spared him. Look at Gary Carter. Yeah. It wore him out. Well, it, 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 he finally got in the Hall of Fame and he deserves it. But Gary Carter just, you know, he was, I would say he was the essential person on the, on the 86 Met. But, you know, it ate him up to catch those games. That's the, have you ever catched? It blows your knees right yeah, up. It does. If, if, if there's 160 games in the... And you're yeah. back? And remember how they used to come in to people? Yeah. My God. Dave Parker came into that Cubs catcher, Barry Foote, who was six foot six. Dave was six three. We don't roll over 200. Barry Foote weighed 300 pounds. Dave Kingman, I think, is the one or no, said Dave, about him. On, there's a, a guy that never said yeah. how many of his, yeah. his, his, his uh, lunch money. So Dave Parker goes barrel ass into it, breaks his jaw and had to wear a thing. Dave Parker was huge. Remember how people, remember how uh, Lou Pinello would come into the wall? Sweet Lou Pinello would sweet slide Lou. into uh, Carlton Fisk and then kick him in the face to try to get the ball. And then like, one time Carlton Fisk took the ball and smashed it into his face. My God, that cost, because that's the one, Mickey Rivers... Pete up Bill Lee and Bill Lee. That but you're right, though. You know. But that was you, a catcher doesn't have to put up with that abuse. They go way up nowadays. You're not supposed to do it. But it's still it just wears you the frig out. So why would a catcher? You get 160 games a year. You don't have Sanchez as a catcher. You know, and, 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 and Sanchez catches maybe 135 games. Yeah, because he sucks. Okay, so. Like you said, it's gonna it's gonna uh, do uh, uh, wear a tear on your knees and they have on good your catchers. body because you know yeah. because they get hit in the face and uh, in the shoulder or in, you and, know. But the psychology, Johnny Bench was a Gold Glove catcher. Oh, oh, oh he, he like, was the best. Thurman, Nobody ain't gonna be better. But look than what Johnny happened Bench. to Thurman Munson. Yeah. The Thurman Munson of seventy to seventy six, and then by yeah. seventy nine when he passed in seventy eight, yeah. he was worn out. His Remember, he had to throw side from the yeah. side. He could That's, still yeah, get yeah. somebody out at yeah, first, yeah. but his arm. Yeah, yeah. Him and Fist, that was one of the great rivalries. Well, the catches is 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 is, is one of the hottest sports to you know, See, in Munson, baseball. Munson is a person that if you had a broad Hall of Fame, you'd put him in because he's just yeah. the most brutal position. And for six or seven years, he was the best. Oh, he was the best. No, there's no question about it. Oh, he was the heart and soul of the 76, 78. I mean, I mean look at Yogi. What a team uh, they had. I mean, Yogi was, you know, right up there, too. What about uh, Chris Shambliss? Great first baseman. Yeah, he was okay. I okay, mean, he was a gold glove count. They brought I mean, him over I mean, but, 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 Greg Nettles, all those players. You know, but those guys never made it into the Hall of Fame. No, they didn't. Those guys. Greg Nettles should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, that's questionable. Yeah. He had 390 dingers in a year. Uh, well, I mean, in I times, mean, the dead era. I know, but one year is not going to make it into Listen, the Hall of Fame. Listen, without, without, the, without to, Brooks Robinson getting the gold glove oh, automatically, well, he would have won. Now, well, he would have won talking. more than the one. Brooks Robinson. Won. How about Frank Robinson? I mean, I mean, I mean, two of That's the greatest. All. I mean, you can, now, Frank Robinson is one of the all-time um, greatest. Well, Brooks Robinson was the best third baseman ever that I saw. 
Greg Nettles was a great player in his time. So you're saying Greg Nettles was better than Brooks Robinson? Are you kidding me? I'm saying that really? Brooks Robinson got 16 gold gloves, and the, like, the last six were just because of his reputation. Uh, I don't he know. shouldn't I, have got them after like 1971. I mean, Brooks Robinson, so. in my eyes, I thought was the best of the best. Oh, I said all the right things. I mean, you can put that out there. I have, I have no shame. I have no shame about Peter or, or what. Uh, uh, we don't want to talk about them. You know, so, but, um, you know, yeah, well, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it happens, and uh, you need to move on, that's all. Do you think that Houston won in uh, 2017, and the Red Sox should give up their title, be stripped of their titles, like in the Olympics, you get stripped of a medal, and the runner-ups, the runner-up teams like L.A. So they'll be the Dodgers. L.A. would didn't L, yeah, L.A. was both years. Yeah, it would be the Dodgers. Do you think the Dodgers should be declared the world champions? Well, I, that's that's that that's hard to because you uh, never you can't quantify how much. Well, teams that's hard did. to determine. You know, to strip them and give them to the Dodgers. I, you know, I. Because we all, because let's I, I be really frank, we hate the Dodgers more. We hate, we hate, everybody hates the yeah. Dodgers. Well, that's true. Except Mr. But, Baseball. But, uh, uh, you know, whatever they decide, you know, it, it's going to go on. You, 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 can, you can debate this for, for how many years? You know what I mean? Strip them, don't strip them. Uh, you know, give it to the Well, they're never going to do I, that. I, I mean, they but, haven't stripped Barry Bonds of but, his title. But, 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 but I like Home about but, but what I like about what's what's happening is that uh, oh welcome to the TV. Oh, it's Oh, you know, you know, and I, I think Joel and I are running out of gas, bitching about sports. <laughs> are we bothering you, hon? Who who wouldn't we bother, huh? No. Oh, okay. God could hear us bitching. But uh, you know, I'm glad that the uh, uh, that the commissioner of baseball you know acted very quickly. Uh, the owners acted very quickly, and you know, you know, you move on, and but, you know, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna taint you, you know, you know, you know, rest of your life. How much? Uh, the, uh, yeah, ah, uh, uh, Alex Cora will never get another job. I don't think so. I think he's, uh, I think he's all done. Yeah, they won't. Uh, he's washed up. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said yesterday that. Uh, he didn't want to be on camera, and uh, maybe months, years, he'll come out with did, a statement. Did Trump it. tweet about him? Because as a Puerto Rican, he was highly critical of our president uh, uh, and refused to go to the White House yeah, after did, they yeah, won the 2018 yeah, World yeah, Series. Uh, I don't know, and uh, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, is but, it really hard to say, or is it just? But you know, are you just a hard man? You, you know, you know, I hate when a president. You know, has to uh, you know step in and uh, in, in his power about sports. You Joel, I mean? isn't a hard man good to find? Uh, oh, it's all it's always a hard man is a good to find. Is that what Shirley uh, found in you a hard man? No, oh, I'm a good man. I'm a you know I'm a classy guy. <laughs> a hard man. Though. Well, no, I'm an easy going guy, isn't it, laid back guy, and uh, you know it's. Uh, is it the saying really? A good man is hard to find. That is. Or is true. it? But in this household, it's a. Good man But in this household, it's a hard man is good to find. Uh, you know, you know, surely hit the jackpot with me. Oh, you're so. Don't you know? You know and I hit the jackpot with her.